I am very surprised about what David Griffin said about LeBron and that Sports Illustrated article. He said a lot of negative things. He said that dealing with LeBron James and being the GM during his time there while LeBron was there was miserable. It was a miserable experience. That's what he's saying. He also questioned LeBron James' dedication to winning. I'm surprised that David Griffin would put these type of things in an article. I'm surprised he would say these things. It is so wrong. He should be lucky that LeBron James was there while he was there. In fact, the reason why David Griffin got that Pelicans GM job was because LeBron James was winning in Cleveland while David Griffin was there. If LeBron James was not there while David Griffin was there, the Cavs would not have won as many games and he would not have gotten that job with the Pelicans. They would have been losing. They would have been in the lottery every year. So he should be thankful that LeBron James helped him get that job with the Pelicans. He shouldn't say anything negative about LeBron. He should only say positive things. He should only speak about LeBron in glowing terms. I am so shocked that he made those comments in that Sports Illustrated article. Also, he helped Dave Griffin's wife with her wine business venture. He tweeted about it. He tweeted about David Griffin's wife's business venture. So he is bringing customers to her business. I can't believe David Griffin would do something like this. If I were LeBron, I would feel betrayed. I would be angry. Somebody like LeBron James who respects you, who's tweeting your wife's business venture, he's doing all these things for you. And this is how you repay him? Wow. David Griffin needs to call LeBron James and he should apologize for those comments he put in that Sports Illustrated article. He should apologize to LeBron. He should say, you know what? I was wrong for doing that and I won't do it again. That's what he should say. I am so surprised that David Griffin would say those things. LeBron James helped the Cleveland Cavaliers win. Yes, we understand it's not easy having LeBron James there because he's a superstar. And superstars are often expected to win. They're expected to win championships. That's the standard. That's set. You got to win a championship. If not, people are going to question you. And the good thing is, while David Griffin was there, he won a championship with LeBron in 2016. He should be happy. Yeah, I understand, you know, the job is stressful. But every GM job is stressful because all the GMs are expected to win, whether you have LeBron James or not. And I understand that, yes, he, maybe things didn't go well with him in Cleveland. I know him and Dan Gilbert had a falling out because Dan Gilbert reportedly didn't want to pay him. Okay, so maybe that's part of the reason why he's saying this. Maybe he's somehow angry at that and lashing out at LeBron James. Um, maybe, I don't know. That could be it. it. But it's just wrong. It's just wrong. You should not, he should not say anything negatively about LeBron James. He should only speak about LeBron James in glowing terms. He should, that should be the only thing that he should do. So hopefully he has reached out to LeBron James to apologize. And hopefully he won't do this with the Pelicans. If Zion Williamson leaves, I hope he doesn't bash him. Or if things are very stressful in, uh, with the Pelicans and he ends up going to another team, I hope he doesn't do the same thing um, with the Pelicans as he did with the Cavs because then it's going to be hard for him to find jobs in the future. I think as a GM, you just got to say positive things about your current stop or where you were the GM at previously. I don't think it's a good idea to say ne anything negative about players that you brought in or players that you um, were GM at in the past because it can hurt your chances of getting another GM job or the Pelicans might be even looking at them kind of sideways like, hey, why are you doing this? It could cause problems within the Pelicans team, you know? But if he's not happy here, maybe he'll start saying negative things about us. So he needs to be careful about that. And like I said, hopefully he won't do anything like this again. Just, just keep it positive and keep it moving. Well, thanks for watching. 
Thanks for listening. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.